overseas tonight and to Afghanistan and the new front in America's longest war. Our team learning weeks ago of initial U.S. talks with the Taliban now. Tonight, our senior foreign correspondent, Ian Panel, taking us inside one of the most dangerous prisons in the world right there in Afghanistan, filled with Taliban prisoners. And right through those prison bars, telling Ian their message for the U.S. Tonight, we get exclusive access inside the most notorious jail in Afghanistan. Polichaki Prison is dangerous, overcrowded, home to thousands of death row terrorists, home to America's sworn enemy for the last 17 years, the Taliban. You can see the prisoners shackled to one another. We're heading into one of the main prisons in Afghanistan today that houses 4,000 convicted terrorists. We're going here to try to talk to the Taliban, but the prison guards are worried. They've told us it's not safe inside. The inmates approach us from the other side of the bars, men who've attacked and killed U.S. and Afghan soldiers and civilians. Among them, Dr. Manan, a quiet English-speaking doctor from Afghanistan, also a hardcore Taliban fighter. What would you like to say to the American people, to the fathers and mothers of soldiers who've been killed, to the American government? American soldiers should uh, leave our country. We have the ability to fight up to 30 years. You won't stop? No, we will, we will not uh, stop the fight against American soldiers. Other prisoners are eager to talk. Gulbuddin says he has no problem with other Afghans, just the foreigners who invaded, the Americans. These exclusive pictures were taken for ABC News from inside Taliban territory. They now have control or influence over more than half the country, with their own government, police, courts. And this is the man in charge of trying to beat them commander of all U.S. and foreign troops here, four-star general John Nicholson. We fly over land the Taliban often attacks. It's where the 9-11 originated from. We've been given details of a secret meeting once unthinkable. American diplomats with the State Department quietly initiating talks with the Taliban. How would you feel about sitting down and talking to the Taliban? We want to end this war. But we want to end it on terms that protect our nation, uh, our homelands, and provide a lower level of violence uh, for the Afghans. So if that were necessary, then, then absolutely. You wouldn't feel queasy about it? No, I think we want to end this war. But the Taliban get a say too. And back at the prison tonight, they're firm. No peace until the Americans leave. Ian Panel, ABC News, Kabul, Afghanistan. Ian, our thanks to you again tonight. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.